Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can self-host Navidrome. Um, Navidrome is a music um, server that you essentially can upload all your digital music to um, and then play it from there, um, create playlists, create albums, things like that, and it's a lot of fun. So if you're a music geek or just love, you know, you have your own collection of music and want a way to sort it, um, Navidrome might be your solution here. So stick around. Have some fun, and let's get started. All right, so first off, what we will do here, um, we'll do a few things for prep to get our server started. So we will um, update our DNS hosted zone so that we actually have a IP that we set for this. Um, and then we'll update our inventory in Ansible. Um, all this what I'm doing here is actually part of my automation series of how I kind of get started and automate creating a server um, for all these videos. So feel free to check that out if you're more interested in depth on how this all works. But what we'll have here is essentially a new server created. Um, we're going to set the address to be 1.87. And Navidrome. So we'll commit that. And then we will edit our Ansible playbooks here real quick. Web IDE, and we'll add Navidrome to our inventory. Uh, inventory, and we'll add it Navidrome. And we will commit that. So um, all of our CI CD pipelines for this will essentially run and you know do its magic. Um, if you're more interested in specifics of how it all works, um, check out my automation series playlist videos. Um, but what we'll do here is essentially run this uh, workflow template that will create my new VM, patch it, install Docker, add, uh, create the cert for it. Um, so and then set up Nginx so that we can do um, a proxy pass to our application here. So what we'll name it is Navidrome. Um, the IP was 87. We'll just name the VM Navidrome here. And then the proxy address, um, we're going to go and look at the Docker Compose stuff. So we will look at Navidrome Docker install here. And we'll see that it will be listening on port 4533. So we're going to use that here. Obviously, we could change it because it doesn't need to be specifically that. But I like to just kind of leave it as what, you know, it's in default for demoing purposes. So and then what we can do is hit next and launch. So this will go through the whole process of creating it. It'll take about a few minutes here. Um, so we'll fast forward the video once it's done uh, and we'll then get through the application setup. So, all right. So now that everything is done here, we should be able to open up a terminal and uh, SSH in it to our server. <coughs> awesome. So we should be able to see like Docker's installed, Docker Compose is also installed. Oh, well, Docker Compose, Compose version. Um, so everything in here is what we need. Um, so what we'll do is go back to our install page. We will grab the Docker Compose that is in here and we will create the file. So Docker Compose dot uh, and oh, paste. Um, obviously, there's a few things that we'll update. So for like the volume path, we'll just set it to the current um, path for our data stuff. And the music path, we will set to dot folder. Um, then we will update a few more things. So uh, base URL in here will be HTTPS navidrome dot dragon dot local. Um, and then I think we can leave everything else as a default. Um, the one thing to note is that it is using user 1000, 1000. Um, so what we want to do, so let's cat doc compose here real quick. We will want to create the data folder, the data and the folder folders, um, make directory data and a folder, and then chown 1000 for both the data 
and the folder. Um, that way, the doc container will actually be able to read it correctly without any issues. So now what we can do here is do a docker compose up and detach and then we'll also just do a docker compose logs and follow the logs after it is ready so you can see that the server is ready it is listening and what we should be able to do now is go to navidrome.dragon.local and it will prompt us to create an admin user um, on first creation so we'll create an admin user here real quick create and then you essentially get this interface of where you can add things and do um, stuff. So what I will show you is how you can actually upload um, like songs or whatnot. So we can open up a terminal here. Um, and in this case, I will actually copy like an MP3 over. So I have um, my what, <laughs> one of my videos, I just converted it to an MP3. So it just has audio for that. Um, and we'll, we'll um, upload it to our Navidrome server real quick oh um, root so we can go back to our server here um, and then essentially anything that is in the folder folder directory the, the directory that's called folder which is <laughs> hilarious actually um, we will be able to see it on the front end so what we'll do is we'll move the mp3 into our folder directory and then what we can do here is there is a refresh button and I, oh, uh, this this refresh right here quick scan so it, it'll scan everything in the folders directory and it will see that my mp3 is there if you click on it you can play it so it's actually playing and and you would hear it if there was audio um, apparently Google Chrome has you can get captions for your for your music or whatnot, but you can see that's actually playing and it'll play here. If this was an actual song and whatnot, it would probably populate like album and artists, but in this case, you can see that there isn't anything in regards to that. Um, but you can obviously click the song, you can, you know, rate it, it's awesome, add to a playlist, play for later, you can even download it or shuffle to play a different song. So essentially anything in this folder this is where you would essentially upload your MP3s. You can even actually make directories in here. So you can make a directory for like, you know, um, song one type situation where it's like, or like artists, you can, you can sort it however you want it. Um, and it will essentially sort in here correctly. So there you go. That is how you can set up Navidrill as a music player um, for your own music that you like to listen to. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.